We're so lucky that we have photography. It roots us to the past, present, and it's our gift to the future. It's our way of letting the people that follow us understand how we existed, understand what we've had to exist through and within. But it's also our way in the right now of, of holding our hands up and protesting or saying no or saying help. After about 15 years of being my mother's carer, I'd become completely isolated. I didn't realize that I'd got anxiety. And I think there was a period of almost a year where I really didn't speak out loud. I was loaned a camera from a school friend. It was like falling and just throwing a hand out and suddenly your fingers latch onto a ledge and you, you don't know anything but you're, you're not falling anymore. It helped me reintegrate myself back into the community, meet people, listen to people, be a person again. Where I'm making these photographs on the surface, it's a relatively small market town. If you look a little bit deeper, you can certainly see some of the struggle and the isolation and difficulty that people are facing. It's never a fun thing to see someone crying or self-harming or desperate to be heard. It's almost like a duty, it's a responsibility to use photography and the testimony that I share with it to grab people's attention and say, this is what's happening. Try and understand. Now, a lot of people have said to me, you know, how can I do what you do? And I've always said, you know, if you really want to make a start, just call in on your neighbor, go and say hello. Being there and listening is the greatest help. And I think that that transcends photography.